Hi kids! I'm so glad you could join me for our holiday story time as we start reading our story, Tales from the Manger. Long ago, in a little town called Bethlehem, a man stepped into a small stable and set a clay lamp on a shelf above a manger. Then he left. He returned a few moments later with his young wife. That's when the miracle happened. The light in the stable grew brighter. The man and the woman and the animals celebrated. The whole world heard about what happened in their stable that night. Chapter 1 Mary and Martha Mouse Two mice scurried from the shadows and stepped into the ring of yellow light from the lamp. They were the first to see, the first to know, and they ran to tell everyone. Wow, Mary the mouse said to her sister as she stared at the manger. I've never seen anything like this. Me either, said her sister Martha. We should have a party, said Mary. A party, said Martha. Sure, but first we should tidy up. The stable floor is messy, all that straw and hay, and we need invitations and decorations and maybe some fruit punch. Forget the fruit punch, Mary interrupted. Let's invite everyone right now. They can come as they are. She scampered off. Martha started to tidy up, but it was too much. Soon she gave up and hurried off after her sister. Together, they scurried up and scurried down, scurried right and scurried left. They scurried all over the little stable to announce this very special party. I'll handle the big guy, the ox, said Martha. I know how to deal with bullies. She scampered up onto a pile of hay in front of the ox and said in a squeaky voice, we're having a party. You're invited. The ox bellowed, get out of here and stop walking on my dinner. So Martha leapt off the hay and ran away. Mary asked the sheep if he would come to the party. He thought about it for a moment, but instead of answering, he just started to sing, ba, ba. Mary covered her ears and ran away. Moments later, Mary and Martha asked the rooster if he would come to the party. He tucked his head under one wing and without peeking said in a muffled voice, I doubt it. You see, I've quit being a rooster, so go wake up yourself in the morning because I'll be sleeping. They tried to ask the possum, but he was playing dead, so they couldn't invite him. They approached the cat curled up in the corner. We're having a party, they said to the cat, but all the cat could say was meow. What were they going to do? How could they convince everyone that something humongous had happened right there in that smelly little stable and it was time to celebrate? Just then, the baby, the one Mary and Martha were trying to tell everyone about, cried. It was a long, loud cry that made all the animals hush. From, the, from that moment on, everything changed. The ox, the sheep, the possum, the cat, and the mice all changed. Why, even that old rooster found a new reason to crow. It was a new beginning. That's all for tonight, friends. We'll be back next week with the second chapter. But before we go, why don't we say a prayer? Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day, for all of my friends that joined me for story time. We just ask your blessing on the days that come as we remember Christmas and that special moment that happened in that stable. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you have a good night, friends, and have a good week. Bye.